Welcome everyone to Juno Switch Just Coming Show. Of course, we're gonna make a video. This one is a food, um, this one is Mad Madagascar street food, super rare Malagasy village food. Of course, a uh, Madagascar, Mad, Mad, oh gosh, Madagascar. Um, I believe in some parts in Africa, so we're gonna check it out, of course. Thank you so very much. And they said street food, I can't wait to see how this is gonna look out. Thank you so very much for your question. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter. If you want me to react to the video, leave a comment below. Thank you so very much. Let's go ahead. Whoa, let's see. Ooh. We're surrounded by about 17 people hey. selling this right now. If I buy one from one person, is it what are they selling? What is that long? What is that? By the way, um, I think like six generations before me came from Africa. Like my great 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 grandfather came from um, Africa. Antana Nuruvo! <laughs> wow! Hey. It's like all Caribbean food! Wow! Remaining trains left over from the French occupation. There's a little bumpy, wow. man. We gotta be careful when we're eating. <laughs> Ending your adventure in Madagascar's coastal wow. city of Manakara, where you'll witness village life never documented. That's how we do it also here. Shut up. It is like a, That's a huge crab. material all around this crab. This vibrant island was first settled 1,000 years ago by Polynesians wow. and East Africans. Outside wow. metropolitan areas, traditional lifestyles in the countryside resembled that of centuries past. What's happening now? They're gonna cut it, but they're, they're gonna butcher the call to eat. Find a way to all this well. Considering the lack of infrastructure, a guide here is an absolute must, and Joel is one of the best. The reason awesome. why they eat this we can find it a bit. Is that it's gonna be a surprise. Intestine? Are they gonna make boo there? That's the kind of room that makes you go blind. <laughs> Today we're just a few miles from Antana Narivo, hey. checking out Madagascar's sprawling early morning markets. This wow. is like a different world. Then heading to a nearby village where they're exclusively selling sausage Ooh. and this. Madagascar what is that? national snack. And you will never guess what's inside. National I this wrong. You ever just stand here with a spoon? So get your sausages in a row and pack up your chicken. Because <laughs> today we're taking on Madagascar. Ooh. Yay! Madagascar. Mm -hmm. Every morning, just four Beautiful miles from the people. capital, locals near and far wheel, walk, or push their produce, fresh wow. meat, and anything else you could think to sell here. <laughs> the morning market in Talatamati City. We come to this little village very early in the morning. It's about 5 a.m. here. The streets are going wild already. It's bright for 5 a.m. They're selling stuff and they're buying stuff. Can you tell me what Ooh. is the name of this market? The name of this market is. This market gets cracked Tina at 3 a.m. each day, continuing until 7 a.m. or whenever the police kick everyone out. Is what? We can eat here? Of course, because a lot of those sellers are like living 10 kilometers, 20 Tina kilometers kick from everyone here, out. so they can only have something to eat here. So wow. there is a Why lot would you kick them out? That we can eat. So from here, we're just going to check it out. Let's go. Ooh. Hey, my man. Do you do Fresh. Fresh products. Oh, that's rock. Um, yeah, oh, rock. Excuse me. Wow. Rock. Yes. Yum. Bread. That guy has a crate. Of wow. <laughs> wow. This place is wild. Is so that much potatoes? action. So much going on. Hello. Okay. What do you got here, man? What are you buying? Yeah, to buy uh, onion. Are you making onion? Soup? Oh. Uh, soup with Oh. It's okay for my gas people, huh? Is this your onion lady? The best onions are here? Awesome! Yeah, it's very cheap. Okay. okay. Good tips. Guys, next time you're in this village, this is the onion lady to go to. Very cheap onions. Okay. okay. Wow. Thank you. Boom. <laughs> Can we get a ride Ooh. on this? Better. Wait, really? He just told us to get on. Okay. Hey. <laughs> this is really the way to travel in town here. Thank you, sir. You do the Lord's work. <laughs> Ooh, just so they send the chicken and the dogs. Geese and a flipping turkey over here. Is turkey very and common here? Yeah, especially now that we are going to celebrate uh, New Year and mm. Christmas. There's what? so much here. If they don't sell this, they need to pack up all these animals and bring them back home, right? Yeah, but I'm telling That's... you, they will uh, sell those easily because Malagasy people, they prefer to buy all things alive. Wow, they want to make really? It's fresh, is fresh. that why? Yes. All this looking at food wow. making me hungry, but I'm in luck. 
Each Ooh. morning, this woman wakes up insanely early, sets her charcoal ablaze, and begins the long process of wow, preparing of mass amounts of porridge for hungry vendors and locals alike. What time did you start wow. here this morning? At one. One? one. Midnight yeah. one? Yeah, this is like a different world, the market life. Okay, so there's so much to do <laughs> sausage, and then there's some rice porridge. And uh, I, I, I like rice porridge, I don't like it. I don't know. Zibu. 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 I really Zibu. want to try this meat. It feels like kind of crispy and almost like dried out. Let's try it out. Wow. Tough meat, it must be tough. Mm. It's got that like spicy kind of nice wow. gaminess. Machido, very yummy. Rice porridge is a common breakfast in the I don't area. like rice porridge. Of fried zebu meat and sausage, and this is a Malagasy breakfast of champions. What is I don't know this why. This is, uh, mixed with Maybe if I taste green, this one, I'll be amazed, but I don't like rice porridge. And a bit small ginger on it. But what is this red part? That's a special type of Malagasy rice. Oh, okay. Let's try it out. Ooh. Mm. Mm. Really fatty, <laughs> it's just really meaty and oily and it has that distinct zebu flavor which reminds me of wow. goat a little bit i'm gonna put some spice goat. in is it Ooh. too much <laughs> yes, it's hot. i don't care about the rules man i'm going for it uh. Ooh. <laughs> spicy yeah. but that's a good breakfast <laughs> ma'am your chili's waking me up more than coffee <laughs> We're going into this narrow enclave of the market that gets to stay here longer because wow. they're not in the way of the main highway. And also, that's why they have to kick them out because when they wear. Wait, that's tobacco? Yeah. So you put this in a cigarette or something? No, no, no. It's just like under your uh, chewing tobacco. Is it? Is this one nah, portion? People can have it like two times. Well, last time I had chewing tobacco, I was 15 years old and I went <laughs> behind a tree and I threw up. So, <laughs> not today, chewing tobacco. <laughs> Bam, Whoa, look at that. what is she like doing? A giant mortar and pestle here. What is inside? Cassava leaves. Cassava leaves. Oh. She's making kind of a powder out of it. Yeah. Or like a fine puree almost. Yeah, this is the end product for it. Wow. Is this for seasoning? What? Products? People are mainly mixed with uh, peanuts or uh, cebu or uh, coconuts to add flavor. Oh. Yeah. Would she let me try a little pinch of it? Is it mine? Yeah. Oh, okay, <laughs> thank you. I mean, you can see it is very wow, and, and they've got their own language. language. Kind of beat uh, so many languages in this up. world, yo. So many languages in this world. Fresh, earthy, and kind of that chlorophyll. Of course, it have to be earthy. Bitter, end, <laughs> I like it. Do? Mm. Oh, she's so confident. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, it's yummy, and she's like, yeah, no shit. <laughs> We've just stumbled upon another food here. We call it the Chinese soup. So it's like those the Chinese soup. soup that Ooh. Chinese people are doing. Oh. But now we are doing it like in a Malagasy way. Yay! Where'd she go? She's gone already. Markets like this have their own <laughs> underground economy that isn't so obvious on the surface. This lady, she's long established her territory in the market. But what if you're starting from the very beginning? Hi. What's in? What? What does that mean? How much do you want to have for a pasta? Oh, two bowls. Anja is a stateless entrepreneur, a new food vendor who's always on the move from police or other competitive sellers. This is really? Skin, and she said she cooked it this morning, so it should still be a bit fresh. This is her own creation. Pasta and macaroni with a mix of potato and mayonnaise, plus a zebu skin add-on if you choose. Is this a Creative. So what? So why do why I'm she have to keep some noodle and some moving? Salad. That is a whoa. Mmm, yummy! It's super simple. It's just like kind of mayonnaise and salt and noodle. Like so it. she gets him back the bowls. Sada, good food. Yeah. <laughs> 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 she knows how to eat. Check out this shot from earlier. <laughs> Skin. You can hey. see some little of the hair on mine. Uh, mine shaved. My zebu skin is not hygienic. Hey! It's like pig skin. Just like a little gelatinous, a little gooey. It's, 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 it's jelly. What's next for Anja? Maybe she drops out of the street food game. Or maybe she sells enough zebu skin pasta to, to get a space. To her own lot in this crowded, chaotic wow. maze of commerce here in Talatamati City. Shh, wow. After the market, we head here. Oh boy. Why is everyone armed with a long knife? Two hours outside on Tananarivo, this village. I guess it's quite big. <laughs> <men chase laughs> <down cars and laughs> <laughs> it's 
you see I wasn't wrong? Did you see I wasn't wrong? Upon closer inspection, I noticed these men are actually trying to sell something. Whoa. And they call it Cuba. Cuba. Andre is his name. Andre, hello Andre. Yes. How's the Cuba selling going today? Yeah, it's a good business for him. Oh, that's yes. awesome to hear. Uh, how much is a slice? Uh, like thousand or two thousand ariari. This village special. Two thousand ariari is fifty cents. Sausage and Cuba. And since there's a ton of traffic coming from the center cow. of town, it happens to be the perfect place to chase down hungry travelers and offer them some food. Here they have uh, two types of sausages because, you know, in Madagascar there is some Muslim people as well. Oh. So, Ooh. for example, you have like kibu and pork uh, sausages and there is like only potatoes on it. So that's halal. Oh, okay. The meaty zebu pork sausage Ooh. is more pricey than the potato sausage. Wow. In both, the main seasonings are salt and pepper. And the casing is made with zebu. Deep fry. That's so some serious deep fry oil. Work our way up to the expensive one. First is the potato, and it's still warm, ma'am. It's more expensive. It's cooked. Yeah, they are like fried it like uh, every time it's getting cold. It's like throwing it in the microwave for ten seconds, right? <laughs> mm. That is really so it's more expensive. The potato like, the fat from the intestine makes the potato juicy. Wow. It tastes hearty. It like has a meaty feeling to it. Let's try this one. A little pork, a little zebu. This How much one. Is it just for this much. This size, you can have it like for five hundred ariari. Let's try it out. Fourteen cents. Oh, that's really good. A little salty. What? This nice meaty, super fatty flavor. Like tons of fat. These sausages serve Whoa. a greater purpose, and it's not to be eaten alone. Pasalamana. Pasalamana. Move from. You have to eat it for rum. It's the kind of rum that makes you go blind. <laughs> My new friend Rodi lives just a few hundred oh meters boy. from here. And Rodi looks like he's been having a few glasses every day. <laughs> grab some rum, grab some sausage, <laughs> and wait to get yelled at. I gotta say, man, this sausage goes perfect oh with it. It's just fat and oily and salty and delicious. So during the wife and the kids uh, doing the shopping, the men are like staying in a bar like this. Mm. I just wish there was some version That's a of lot of alcohol to be drinking the like most water. The can ask for in the US is to have a place to sit down and look at it <laughs> right here. This gives men a reason to look forward to shopping, really. Ah. He's actually one of the Cuba suppliers for this area. Wow. And he's offered to take us to his mini Cuba factory to see Ooh. how this ubiquitous and strange looking food is made. Wow. Shh. They're really working their land. They are really working this land. To produce Cuba. You can see that uh, sign behind. This is like a license? Yeah, just to make uh, everything official. And uh, wow. so when you want to complain, like uh, your Cuba doesn't really taste nice, you can complain to the local government and they will give a fine to them. Whoa. I like Ooh. that it's not just a random. There's some yeah. body around the Cuba. Of course. Here. That's amazing. This is the final product we're going Whoa. for. Step one, what is layer it? the bottom with banana leaf spines. Then stack banana leaves on top of that. So this one that they are making now, it's the type of Cuba that you carry around. So you need to make a really a thick leaf. So when you carry it, it does not break it. easily. This classic Cuba has three main ingredients. Rice flour on the outside to prevent it from sticking to the banana leaf. Then loads of crushed raw peanut and sugar mixed in the center. So this is a peanut with the sugar. Really? Very nice. Wow. I can even eat this rum. You ever just stand here with a spoon? Then another layer of rice flour on top, more leaves, rice then flour. tie it shut. Oh, it's really strong. You can tie it as hard as you can. Oh, he lost interest. <laughs> <laughs> and then you do a little not. <laughs> and then bam. That's the finished product. Finally, That's after it? you have a bunch of these Kuba logs, they're boiled in this huge drum for three days. Luckily, what? they have the finished version for us to taste now. Free this? I'm telling you guys, don't make a joke with that knife. Oh my god, that is very sharp. Sharp. It just went through it like a butter. All right, so the big reveal, bam, there it wow. is. Wow. You can see that little bit of rice flour. I wonder how it tastes. Actually I really do. From the moisture looks... inside wow. when they cooked it. And then you see it just gets darker towards the inside. That looks incredible. That's what you call it. It's worth. That what Where do you is well like, cooked from the inside. Right the center, that's the best. All right, it's super sticky. God, let's see, let's see. Mmm. Mmm. Like I wonder if you can mix it, it with something. Kind of sugary flavor. I don't even sugar and peanuts. Peanut. It's much more on the edge. It's like all the mm. sugar is going in the middle. Scent. Like, uh, on the outside, it tastes like a little lighter. That first bite, like right in the middle, is the most intense. I don't know how much for it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
for people like can eat it because most of Malagasy people we are walking a lot when we are tired of walking you can have some snacks this is hearty food yeah like two pieces of and pizza. sugar a lot of energy I guess peanut yeah wow <laughs> First of all, I want to thank you and your lovely wife this is tremendous and so fun to try it oh okay thank you very much second of all where do you keep the booze <laughs> <laughs> the white check is not here. <laughs> wow. We are just getting started with our Madagascar food series. If you like this that video, be sure to subscribe and stay tuned for so much more. Joel, that was a great so video. This amazing experience. I want to give a huge shout out to Ramar Tours for putting this whole itinerary together wow. for us. We got to make the most of our time and see so many amazing things and have so many that great experiences great. while we were here in Madagascar. That is a great guys, video, of course. This video was made possible by One Trip Vietnam. One Trip is the highest rated awesome. tour company in Vietnam. One Doing Trip. tours from north to south in all major cities, including wow. Hanoi, Nha Trang, Da Nang, Hoi Ooh, An, that's, that's and Saigon. A, you can experience food tours, adventure That's a good way to wet the plants. More. To learn more about One Trip, check out the links in the description down below. I will see you next time. Awesome. Okay. <laughs> Alright, let's go eat. Again. Again? <laughs> Again Hey guys, thank you so very much for requesting this video, of course. Thank you so very much. This was a great one. Of course, exposure here to Madagascar street food. And it was an awesome one. Very creative with the food, of course. And some of the things I recognize, which we would also do in our country, Dominica. As I told you, I think like six or seven generations before me came from Africa. I did not know that. I only found out this year, at the end of the year there, that my great, just a moment, my grandmother, mother, mother mother father father six came from africa directly from africa um so pretty much african <laughs> so thank you so very much guys for requesting this video um like us on facebook follow us on twitter if you want me to react to video don't forget guys leave a comment below okay thank you so very much bye guys